if you're a bit stuck or you believe that you are created for more, which you are, and you know you are, otherwise you wouldn't even be watching this video, then you need to change the habits that you're doing. Now I'm going to say talk about three habits that really did actually make an impact looking back that not many people will have spoken about. First habit that I think was very important to me was learning how to cook food. See, when I learned how to cook food at a young age, I started drilling into my mind that my physique is dependent on my meals, right? And I learned how to cook so I can control that factor. And once I controlled that factor, I got better at it, so now I can make food that tastes good. And I learned the skill of cooking, right? Which is very powerful because now I can optimize for brain health. I can optimize for bone and joint strength or whatever. I'm not relying on other people to do that for me. And I feel that like that's the first crutch of many young men. They don't know how to even cook their own food, so they're restricted by the fuel they're putting in. Imagine you've got a car and it's diesel, and you're feeding it petrol all the time. You're not putting the right fuel in to get the right outcome. And the second most life-changing habit for me was tidying and organizing as many aspects of my life as I could, as I could conceivably control. When I walk into this room, every single person that's come into this room has said to me, your room is spotless, it is tidy, it smells good, it's clean. Why? Because everything has its place. This watch goes on that table. This laptop sits on here. This iPad sits here. Everything has its place and the reason is so simple but so powerful. I want my mental energy to be used for the creative and difficult tasks. It's not easy to come and script a video, it's not easy to come and shoot a video, right? It's not easy to learn and digest and teach. So why would I want to waste my mental energy deciding where to put things? And that relates to the first thing about food as well. I eat pretty much the same meals every day because I'm organised like that. Because that way it frees up my conscious decision making for the harder tasks. Why would I want to decide whether I want to eat wheat or bigs or eggs in the morning? I, just, I should just set in stone the eggs because it's more nutritious and then it takes a decision out of my equations that I can use that decision for a more important task. Like, what title should I use? What thumbnail should I use? How should I say this story? Right? These are the tiny nuanced things that are really going to level you up. The next habit is writing and journaling. If you're in a competitive space or you want to be the best, you want your thoughts as clear as, as can be. Napoleon Hill says, your thoughts become your reality or something along those lines. You, you become what we think about, right? Now, if you have no way of ascribing what you think to the actions that you do, you're basically living like a zombie. I started journaling, I call a life journal from November 2021 and whenever something important happens in my life, I open up a notion page and I write. I have got essays in there, longer than my GCSE pages that I've written about, right? But I can go back. I have data for the, I have data from the past now. I can see what worked, what didn't work, what led me to feel like this, where did I make the shifts and improvements and because of that I can relate back, I can teach, I can improve, I can condense. I can enhance. You simply can't do that because you don't have that data. But I know you, you know, you're the big man, you're too good for journaling. It's too, you know, you're, it's something that's below you, isn't it? Whereas every single successful entrepreneur knows how to write copywriting, sales, newsletters, adverts. It's in front of your eyes, bro, but you're just blind. You don't, you don't see it. You just, if you look at the smoke and mirrors of the Andrew Tate with the Bugatti and you think that's how you make business. No, it's these skills. Learning how to write is a million dollar skill. Right? And not only that, it's improving your creativity. Your thoughts are becoming down onto paper. So now you can free yourself up to think other things. In fact, I'm not even just doing my life journal now. I've started implementing more writing habits into my life. Right? I do a little story day every day where I find a little part of my life I can write as a story. I do an exercise called crash and burn where I literally write as much as I can without stopping for 10 minutes, the randomest thoughts. Because you want to engage that brain, that creative brain. You're just letting it die by playing those video games. Let it out, right? Let it out. There are, there are ideas, there are visions for your business, for your career, for your health and family relationships that are just stuck in there and they're lost in time. The reason why we've got this knowledge right now is because we have passed it down through generations by reading. There are ideas that are dying within you day by day because you're not writing it down. Make that habit, even if it's two minutes a day, write. Habits don't add up. 
they compound, right? Which means over time, the more good habits that you have, the greater the returns will be for the same amount of effort that you've put in. Yeah? That's the beauty of habits. So if you put the work in early, in two years you can reap benefits that are huge, massive, life-changing quantum leaps of your mental, physical and whatever capabilities that you have because you implemented a tiny habit today. That's the key thing about habits, remember that. All it takes is one habit for you to improve your health. All it takes is one habit for you to go from 10k to 100k. Now obviously more will be added on but that's the beauty of it. One leads to another and then that compounds over time. It's simple bro, it's really simple. If your life has been the same for the last few years, then there is 100%, I can guarantee you that you do not change your habits. I went from being unattractive, looking like a kid and depressed at university to quitting drugs and alcohol, which led me to improve my health and build a sick physique, which led me to uh, Islam, which now has led me to control my desires so that I can focus my energy on other productive things like entrepreneurship, which is blessed within this religion. And now I'm focused on creating content for the community of men and helping people from the mistakes that I've made, right? And each of these sections are new habits. I feel like I've lived about three lives already and I'm 23. You've just been in the same spot for the past five years, bro. Think about it. Add a new habit into your life. You have no idea what you're capable of. And you don't know because you've not added that new habit into your life. All it takes is two. Two habits, once they become set in stone, can change your life in, in one year. And I promise you that. But you know my message. Keep building, keep progressing, and I'll catch you in the next one.